Toho. Toho music happens. Okay, so there might be a little bit more to that. Uh, I mean, just look at my video catalog from the past six years and you can tell that I was caught up in different sort of content. And seeing how Vocaloid in essence kind of was the start of my channel, uh, let me just start from the beginning. Okay, so the year is 2009. Imagine you're some 12 year old obsessed child who just got a whiff of internet freedom. You're hyper obsessed with some blue hedgehog and spend your days browsing Google video watching 240p tribute videos that reek of Windows Movie Maker. Oh, and Speed Paints too. Don't forget those. Okay, so one day, you happen to stumble upon this one speed paint by some sonic artist that used some Japanese music in the background. You check the description. Hmm, Sandrilon by Kaito and Miku. Hmm, never heard of that artist before. 3.28 AM. Uh, yeah, pretty accurate if you ask me. Somehow, every one of my future interests all originated from Sonic. Thanks, internet. Anyway, that song just completely hooked me and I just had to know more. After some googling, I discovered that Miku's full name was Hatsune Miku and that she was a robot singer called a Vocaloid. A digital singer. And soon after, I discovered there were also a bunch more of those Vocaloids, uh, just like Miku. Rin, Len, Meiko, Kaito, Gumi, Miki, all of the more well-known Vocaloids at the time. My music taste back then was quite... It was... something, for sure. I suppose what intrigued me most when it came to Vocaloid music in particular, however, was just the roboticness of their music. I guess that's also the reason that even to this day I highly prefer the older Vocaloid music stuff over the new stuff. You know, the songs that were made between 2007 and 2011 or so. The classics. I mean, I tried telling myself it were the lyrics that made the difference, that they were so deep and thought-provoking. Even though I didn't speak a single word of Japanese. So that was a case of fucking bullshit. Oh my god, I'm not like the other girls. I'm quirky, XD. I don't like stereotypical pop music. Who cares about Katy Perry, you know? You know what I listen to? I listen to Roblox that sing. Yeah, they also have the mama That's the appeal. No fucking kidding. That's, that's literally, that was literally my thought process. Though I do have to admit that some songs do tackle subject matter or portray stories that you wouldn't see too often in Western media, or at least back then. Looking at you, Nehru. And Wawaka. Yeah, we don't talk about you. Good music, just a little fucked up. After some more YouTube adventures, I started stumbling upon these so-called MMD Vocaloid drama videos. These were basically just animations made using MMD that kind of gave the Vocaloids a bit of personality. Uh, beyond that, it kind of surprised me that these videos didn't ruin my innocence, cause the content in these videos were... <laughs> Peculiar. One character that would sometimes appear in these videos was called Kasane Teto, and apparently she wasn't a Vocaloid, but instead something called an Utau. Utaus are basically, I guess you could call them bootleg Vocaloids, as they're made using similar techniques to that of Vocaloid, only with the Utau software. And the Utau software is free, while the Vocaloid software is not. And one look at my video catalog here on YouTube kind of tells you enough as to what I did next. Which of course meant that I had to create my own Utaloid using my own voice. Which I did. Her name was Fushimura Saki and this... ...was her first design. Mm, look at those beautiful proportioned arms and legs. 
but doesn't matter, she was my baby and I was so proud of myself after I completed recording her. She sounded so cool, so shit, but that didn't matter. <laughs> Hit it, Fushi. In the years that followed, I made several follow-up versions and improved versions of Fushi and she became pretty well known among the community. I mostly stayed updated on new Vocaloid music through both SoundCloud and YouTube, seeing how that's where most Utau users were active. Uh, and this went on for quite a few years. I'd say around the time Hibikase and Echo came around is when I started drifting a bit from Vocaloid music. Or at least afterwards. Not that the music has gotten shit or anything. Uh, I mean, Giga P still fucking slaps. Amazing producer. It's just that, I don't know, I think I just started looking more into Toho Dojin music. And also the fact that my friends at the time also started to drift a little bit more from Vocaloid music. I don't know, sometimes you just kind of lose interest in stuff because you want to experience something new. And I guess that was just the case for me in Vocaloid. The last new popular song I remember being released before I completely quit listening was Ghost Rule. Uh, I also heard that this one song, Sand Planet, was also very very popular a few years back, but to be honest I missed the entire hype train as I kind of lost touch with any new Vocaloid stuff past Ghost Rule. Oh, and apparently V5 is now a thing, and they released another set of cute twin vocaloids or something called Meika Mikuto and Meika Hime. They're cute. I like them. And that's basically my experience with vocaloid music. Yeah, I don't listen to it a whole lot anymore, but I'll always appreciate it. And also for those curious, my favorite vocaloids are Nekomura Iroha, VY2 and Rana. And my favorite song is The Lost Ones Weeping. Anyway, that's all I really have to say on the topic of Vocaloid. If you'd like to hear me talk some more about my Utau days, feel free to let me know and... See you all next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back from hiatus. While I was gone, I did some reflection on what I want my content to be like and... Well, this is kind of the result. Again, I really hope you enjoyed it. It was very enjoyable for me to make. Way more fun than the content I made over the span of 2020 so far. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it too. Anyway, I want to give a special shout out to Methicha, Matt and Snow Comics for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you guys very much.